movement by the railings here. If there's one thing that's helped me improve my sniping over time, first shooter born, GG. It's by failing over and over again. Aim is only one part of the sniping equation. There's positioning, decision making, and knowing when to pull the trigger, to name a few. And all this, I learned through losing. No, mother... So in today's adventure, I'm going to take you on a journey with me to Lighthouse, one of Tarkov's maps I absolutely suck at. The goal is to get five sniper headshots on players for a quest. I'm going to break down hard lessons I learned that helped me improve as a sniper throughout the day. And later in the video, you won't want to miss how I fought this duo without ever being seen. The player right there. Two. You already saw our first sniper headshot. As soon as I got into the raid, I saw a guy, tapped him, then shortly after, get tapped myself. Lesson one of today, the high ground isn't always the answer. It's one of the quickest ways to get spotted and counter sniped. But later, you'll see how this fact worked to my advantage. In search of our second snipe of the day, I spawned in the northern part of the map, and honestly, I hate spawning here. Whenever I get this spawn, I feel forced to head to the water treatment compound, because if I try to work my way down south, I tend to find myself in awkward sniping engagements since the rest of the players are theoretically moving towards me. You might be wondering, so what if you have to move up to the water treatment compound? Well, to be honest, this place scares me. It's guarded by rogues who are pretty well-geared AI and they're well-trained too, meaning they have aimbot that can blast you from 100 meters away if they spotted you. And here's where lesson number two of the day came in. Do what scares you. It sounds super cliche, but if I dive into the deep end of the water treatment compound and get to know it, despite the looming danger, it'll open up more opportunities for me to get snipes in the future, instead of putting myself in a box and avoiding this place altogether every raid. So reluctantly, I went for it. I plan to do two objectives, corporate secrets and revision. These two quests require me to grab a couple of documents and mark a couple of armored vehicles in the middle of the compound. This is going to naturally take me throughout the area and face my fears head on. I started with the first document grab, luckily uncontested. But then, as I exit this building to move on to my next objective, I hear rogues nearby. Ruskies ahead. Oh crap, rogues. Immediately, my heart rate spikes a bit. Got one rogue. Two rogues down. I chill a bit to hear out for any signs of other rogues, but it seems like we're in the clear. So I move on to mark my first armored vehicle, then transitioned over to the next vehicle. As I was moving along, I spot something on the roof. Haunted machine gun rogues still alive. This means no players have tried to kill him yet, so I think we're clear of players for now at least. It's just ahead. My objective. Right there, in front of me. Hopefully we can mark this before the guy running on the front side. Yeah, that was a player's cav. That was a player's cav, not a PMC, so that doesn't count to our sniper headshot quest. Nonetheless, I marked my vehicle and moved over to try to grab my last document before I attempt an extract out of this raid. But this time, what I fear most is here. We got rogues on me here. We got ground rogues. Not sure if I got the first guy.
get in there and grab my document. With the coast seeming quite clear, I looted my winnings, grabbed my document, and made my exit out of this building. Oh. My. God. It was a player's cav. Ooh, M62 is perfect. More ammo to work with. Let's go. And thankfully, I made it out safely. Oh, all right. That was huge. Huge. Taking the risk to get into the water treatment compound paid off. Not only did I survive, get quests done, and beat the rogues, but also I've come to realize that fighting the rogues wasn't as bad as I thought. Giving me the confidence knowing that I can fight anyone, anywhere in this map. And this leads us to our third raid with a newfound morale boost. I begin by finishing up our quest revision with two more armored vehicles to mark. After marking this first one, I hear a lot of shots going down at the shore, so I try to get an angle on what was going on. But as I learned from my first raid of the day, I decide not to stay at the highest point of this mountain, but instead a few levels lower in order not the skyline. I sat here waiting for a pixel to move until I finally see him. I whiffed. I whiffed. I whiffed. He's running right to left now. Lesson number three. Don't sweat the errors. It'll happen. You'll win some. You'll lose some. In my experience, I lose more than I win. But it's only when I beat myself up over my mistakes where I really start to lose it. Ever since practicing this little lesson, I've become a more consistent sniper. It allows me to keep a level head while moving on to the next thing. It works. Trust me. I concluded this raid by marking my last armored vehicle. The scab. Oh, whatever. Then extracting safely. Moving on to our fourth raid, still seeking our second snipe. I did the usual, staying low in the trees, scoping out the area, then progressing my way up north with plans of heading to the water treatment compound. But then... Lesson number four, you're not the only sniper in town. There are likely many others sitting on sniper spots, watching the same angle you're watching or watching you. Play around these spots and check them as much as you can, because you'll eventually find someone sitting there. And this foreshadowed our next raid. I got the same spawn as last time and took the exact same path with the same game plan. But this time, ready for a sniper up top if there was one. With my above rock seeming clear, I immediately check one of the most common sniper spots across me. I see a guy. I see a guy. This is exactly why staying up high can be super dangerous. Another guy. I just saw a dude prone right here. Unfortunately, this other dude got away. But the second sniper headshot we just got was a perfect example of lesson number one. Why having the high ground isn't always the answer. He skylined so hard it was easy for me to spot him. Just like how I died in our first raid. And also that's lesson number four coming into play. We're not the only snipers in town. And knowing that's a common sniper spot helped me spot him quick. I didn't bother trying to loot my kill and safely extracted out of here to come back for our sixth raid. And this one, things got spicy within the first few minutes all the way to the end. While sitting around looking for a target, I hear someone walking up behind me. How did I win that fight? Whew. Ooh, looks like a juicy one. Alright, decent bullets. I 
I took my winnings and again intended to head up north into the water treatment compound or until I found another sniper target. Along the way, I kept in mind lesson number four, that I'm not the only sniper around. So as I move forward, I check common spots that I'm aware of, and lo and behold... Another sniper, indeed. I cleaned him up for whatever loot he had and continued to move up north until I heard some stomping nearby. There's a player below me. There's a good chance for another sniper headshot. wait for the perfect shot and there we go third sniper headshot in the books two more to go i'm right by my extract so i take as much as i can before leaving level 40 and another juicy mcx Ooh, this guy was fully looted Time to go. This was a huge, huge raid. We got a snipe, a ton of juicy loot, and some good momentum. This brings us to raid number seven. I slowly worked my way up to the water treatment compound, making sure I'm clear of snipers as I enter the premises. After a quick scan of some usual sniper spots, I make my run for the compound, but honestly feeling a bit nervous. At the same time though, remembering lesson number two, do what scares you. I take a peek if the rogues on this roof are up, but I don't see them. Thinking I'm clear, I went up these rocks to get a better angle of the compound, but I was completely wrong. The rogues are up. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay, just keep running, keep running. The rogues are alive. I take a moment to gather myself, fully heal up, and then I hear this. Oh, I have another player somewhere here. That is another PMC somewhere in the area. An opportunity for another snipe. But before I can move on and hunt for this player, I gotta clear out the rogues that almost took my head off. Is that a... That's one rogue down. Can't see super clear past the smoke. Mm. I think we're clear though. Oh wait, the player right there. Two. That guy's dead. That shooter born kill. There's one more player. I wonder if I can get it on this guy. Thing is he's gonna he's not gonna peek that that's for sure he's gonna come out the back he has to come out the back okay he's fighting sounds like ropes or scabs That 
that Shitterborn kill. He might try to close this door behind him. Scav walking. Scav's going. Yeah. Okay, the scav just walked in. I think that means I can walk in as well. Alive, use him as bait. Scav's still alive there. Granata, dude. He's in one of those rooms to the side. There he is. Somewhere here. There. I whiffed. Whiffed. No time to feel bad about that. Two position. Trying to kill him. He's mine, he's mine. It's my target. I gotta get him first. Should have born in. Right house done. That's it. <laughs> but there's another player. There's another player. He might be on the roof. Lighthouse done, baby. I think I'm good. We can just like try to bounce out of here. guys but I'm out of here 
Five sniper headshots completed in seven raids. The map I feared the most to snipe in wasn't so bad after all. This is something I continue to strive for, getting better at being comfortable with the uncomfortable. Sniping in Tarkov can be one of the most challenging playstyles, especially in the city. And if you want to see how I approached city sniping, you won't want to miss this video right here. Thank you to our patrons, Yang, Fluffy Hamster, Blossom, Smotty, Lightning Deathbringer, and Tim. Much love, everyone.